Welcome. In this video, we'll cover the basics of flows in file flows. There are three types of flows in file flows. A standard flow, a failure flow, and a subflow. Each is used for different purposes. We'll start with a standard flow using the file template. A flow is made up of flow elements. Every flow must have one input flow element. Here, we have an input file. You could use input folder for processing a folder, video file, image file, audio file, etc., depending on the types of files you wish to process. Let's add a flow element to the flow and discuss its attributes. To add a flow element, drag it from the list and drop it onto the flow. If the flow element has fields that need setting, an editor for that flow element will open. Let's quickly save these fields and talk about the flow element. An input flow element has no input connections because it begins the flow. However, all other flow elements have one input connection, allowing them to be connected to previous flow elements. A flow element can have zero or more output connections. Each output connection represents a different state from the execution. Generally, output one is for a success or true state, and output two is for a false or not matching state. This can vary depending on the flow element, but this is the general behavior. For example, with the convert to MP3 flow element we just added, it has two outputs. If we hover over the outputs, we see that output one indicates it converted the file and created a new temporary file. Output two indicates the file was already an MP3 and did not need processing. Flow elements also have a failure output connection. This is triggered if the flow element fails in its execution. By connecting to this output, you can gracefully handle a failure event and process it. If this failure connection is left empty, which is usually the case, the flow will fail and execution will stop. File flows will create a new file in a temporary directory whenever it creates a new file. This allows you to build up a complex flow and perform multiple operations on a file. So, this explains why output one of convert to mp3 created a new mp3 in the temporary folder. Now, let's complete this flow by adding a replace original flow element. As discussed, our new mp3 is currently in the temporary directory. If we want to replace our original file, which for example may be a WAV file, we can use replace original to delete the original file and move our new mp3 to the original file location. Replace original will use the same name as the original file, except it will update the file extension. We can leave output 2 disconnected since it indicates the file was already an MP3 and did not need converting. Our flow is complete, but since we are processing audio files, we should replace input file with audio file. We can drag the audio file flow element and drop it onto the input file flow element to replace it. Now, let's save our flow and discuss the other flow types. Subflows are similar to standard flows, but allow the user to specify custom fields to pass to the subflow or allow for the same flow logic to be reused in multiple flows. For more information, see the subflow documentation. To use a subflow, switch to the subflows tab. These will behave like any other flow elements, where they have both an input and zero or more outputs. Failure flows are a special flow type with a limited number of flow elements available to them. A failure flow can execute in the event of a flow failing. This allows the user to set up notifications when a flow fails. All these flows follow the same principles. A single input flow element. Each flow element has an input and zero or more outputs, and they connect together to execute. That concludes the flow overview.